Hi guys, it's me, Andrea. Um, yeah, I work here with the transfer foil from Crafters Companion. Um, yeah, I had an idea. You know, you're using this foil with these stickers, and uh, but I wanted to use it in a different way because um, I'm running out of stickers actually. I used them for the show and now in January they're coming up on the QVC and um, I will show you this ones. These are all the stickers and they are on, on this foil and uh, you release the glue on some paper and then you can put the uh, transfer the foil. So and I had an idea to use glue and put it on the paper and then try to transfer the foil. Yeah, I tried quite a lot of glue and uh, the problem is you have of course to um, yeah, put it over the equally over the whole page or yeah it, first and the most important thing you have to let it dry that um, this tacky glue didn't work really well at all. The best thing what worked, I found out then, a few glues later, is this uh, liquid one I got from, what is it called? Um, that was Col Ole. I got that from Crafters Companion as well. So, um, And uh, I found out by trying that you have to leave it dry leave it for drying. That's what I did. I uh, put again all the glue over my paper and um, yeah and then put the foil on top and let it sit for a time, for a long, longer time. And um, you will see then that works really good and I think I will do something uh, later not in this video, of course, in another video. I will do something um, where I really cover a whole page. I will try. Here you can see that works really good. It's the reflection where you really can't see the gold properly. When I tilt the page here, you can see that it uh, the gold is on. It, it's absolutely beautiful. But so, and when, you know, when I was uh, going on with that and it looked a bit distressed because of all the gaps in there, I thought, mm, make it look even more distressed. So I used my, my rusty stuff here. This is the eye medium. I put on one thin layer as a primer. That needs to dry, but I can force dry it. That's not a problem. So and then a thick layer of that eye in medium and that needs to dry. Um... I, oh, it definitely needs to dry naturally because you before it's completely dried you have to put the oxidation medium on so it um, it's better to let it dry um, naturally so now this is the oxidation medium and I put that on it's a jelly type of, of medium and it's really good to put it on this rust and I have the other stuff I'm using that's more liquidy, it's more chemical, it smells a bit more. So this is quite um, nice to use, very user friendly, let's call it like this. So and what I really like to do with rust is crackle paste in white because it always picks this rust up at the edges and that I really love this effect. It looks absolutely fabulous. So that's why I often, not always, but often tr uh, use uh, the crackle paste. As you can see it here, it looks absolutely great. Oh, I love that effect. So, um, but now, going with the flow, <laughs> I thought, hmm, there is one area in particular that caught my eye and I really like that. So I thought, why not cutting that down? And I'll keep all the other bits and do something with it, of course, but especially this bit I really liked a lot and I cut it out and that already works by itself I think but I had then an idea I cut it to a special size um, what most of this crackle stuff does it flakes so that's why I go over here with a medium 
um, it's a matte, matte varnish. It's a liquid, liquid varnish, a matte one. So um, to prevent it from from flaking. And I have this glass here that's full of pre-rusted stuff. You know, when I have something um, metally, I or I did in the past. I rusted it in this uh, vinegar thingy. What was it? Vinegar and bleach. What was it? it? It's always a combination of two things put together and then let it sit in there. Can't remember. I've done that in the past. Nowadays, I, I do it all with my rust medium here. So these are a lot of stuff I pre-rusted and um, keep it and use it here now and again. And I decided to use this name label. So I needed something interesting for behind. And this is from a pipe pad from Tim Holtz, I can't remember the name. So I found this and I thought, mm, pharmacist, that goes really good with this crackly and rusty stuff. Don't know why, but I just thought that looks nice. Use that. Cut it to size here. And yeah, and then I will glue it down. So cut it to size. That's an old metal thing. Um, came from a clinch film package, you know, where you tear it off when you get it out of the package, the roll, and you go tear, you're tearing, or no, not tearing, you're pulling the clinch film out, and then you tear it over this, this metal thing. I kept that and, and rusted it, so nothing gets wasted. Okay, I put that down with silicone glue, and... Um, the pharmacist goes down normal glue, but the metal label here I will glue down with E6000 because um, that won't come off then. I wanted to be sure that it's not coming off. Could have glued the metal thing there with it as well, but yeah, well, okay. <laughs> it's on now and the silicone will keep it on as well, so that will stay put definitely. Okay, and then I have this little dot things I pre-rusted at some stage. That's some plastic thingies. I can't really tell you what that was. Was it some of these candy things you had for scrapbooking in the past? This plastic candy, whatever they called it, I can't remember. Um, and I think that's it. You will see the close-up. Look, I, I glued it already on this... Uh, paper and that will be framed and you will see the pictures the pictures are I made already when it was framed so it was a bit difficult with the reflection but I hope it's okay so thanks a lot for watching guys I hope you like it if so don't forget to leave a thumbs up that would be fantastic and even a comment thanks a lot for that so I wish you a fantastic time guys and I hope I see you soon again bye bye